Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over the free Chrome extension, the DS Amazon Quick View Chrome extension. It's something that I've gone over in the past. It's something that I use to do my niche research on Merch by Amazon. It is totally free and it's a super tool if you don't want to spend money on a premium tool like Merch Informer. This is a good alternative. Um, I'm going to go through how to install it, how to uh, use it and then I'm going to go through a couple of questions I've been getting lately on some of my older videos about what it means when you don't necessarily see results you see products where there's no um, Where there's no BSR listed and you and you can't figure out what's going on I'm going to go over all of that in this video. So stay tuned till the end and see all the tips and tricks Okay, all right um, So DS Amazon quick view it is a Google Chrome extension which means you have to have Google Chrome in order to use it you go to uh, I just googled DS Amazon quick view this is the um, the website for it it's in the Google Chrome store you just add to Chrome here I've already added it so I can't add it to Chrome and once you do you're gonna see an icon up here in the top it's DS Amazon quick view it's like a little blue fist um, the red dot indicates that it is not active on this site it only works on amazon.com it's the only site where it has anything to do with anything so if you're browsing the internet on other sites, you're not going to notice um, any anything being injected into your pages from DS Amazon Quick View. And then really quickly, let me just tell you, that's how it works, all right? So DS Amazon Quick View, it scrapes the page, finds the necessary information, and then displays it without you having to click into each result. And it just makes it a lot faster to do your niche, niche research. You can do everything you can do with DS Amazon Quick View you can do without it. It's just that if you have it, it's all right there for you to see on the main search result page rather than having to drill down into each of the products. And I'll just go ahead and show you that really quickly so you understand. Um, so I have DS Amazon Quick View here. Whenever I'm doing niche research, I want to open a incognito window. Okay, so you want to go up here to incognito. Now you have to add a Chrome extension and allow it to use an incognito window. So if you haven't done that, you're not going to see any results when you go to Amazon. So what you need to do is you go up here, you go to your extensions, manage extensions, and if I'm on DS Amazon Quick View and I scroll down, uh, we want to see. Okay, so here this we automatically are granting access when we're on Amazon.com or Amazon.co.uk. We're automatically granting access, and uh, somewhere on here. And then the second one you have to do is allow in incognito window. Okay, if you don't have this turned on when you go to an incognito window, you're not going to see anything. It's not going to work at all. The DS Amazon Quick View uh, extension will not be active. So um, this has to be turned on or you will not you will not be able to see any of the results from DS Amazon Quick View. All right, with that covered and out of the way, let's move on to an actual search on Amazon. So I'm going to close my extensions. Again, I'll leave this up here. I will put a link in the description of this video so that you can see how to get there quickly. But like I said, I just literally went to Google search for DS Amazon Quick View and it's the first um, the first thing that came up. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to Amazon.com. Now I'm going to go to Amazon.com and knew who I was. That's what I don't want, right? I don't want my previous search results to impact what I find. Um, now we need to go to a Merch by Amazon shirt. So we want to go... Normally what I do is I just search for any random t-shirt. So like, um, I don't know, like Thanksgiving t-shirt. And you will, you will come to recognize what a Merch by Amazon um, product mock-up looks like. And you can see that they're exactly the same photo. And they've just been colored. They've been colored to to fit whatever the um, the most popular color of the shirt is but it's the exact same photograph of a t-shirt and it's just been desaturated and then they have the colors uh, if that makes sense so you can see and, and if you've done any kind of niche research before you know that um, a lot of these uh, brands are now using merch by amazon to sell their uh, to sell their their merch so the star wars store is a is definitely a Merch by Amazon site. You can see this is the exact same mock-up. Look at the wrinkles in the shirt. It's the exact same, right? Same with the Disney. It's all the same, right? So we can go ahead and click this. And this is uh, officially licensed apparel, which most of the time ours is not. But what we want to do is we want to grab this last bullet point, lightweight, classic fit, double needle sleeve, and bottom hem. 
This is something that all merch by Amazon shirts have, right? So we want to put that. We can even put that in the Thanksgiving shirt. That could be our, our search. So if we search for that, we're going to get uh, primarily, primarily, and it's never 100% perfect, so just know that, but we're going to get primarily just Merch by Amazon shirts. So as we scroll down here, you can see you can see a whole bunch of shirts came up. Primarily, they're going to be Merch by Amazon. Look, same mock-up, same mock-up, same mock-up. Um, but we want to make sure that we didn't do it wrong. So if you're seeing like mostly results that are like clearly like this is not a Merch by Amazon result, then you've done it wrong. You know, go back and grab a different um, snippet of text from the from the listing. You don't want to grab the bullet points that the person who created the listing wrote. You want to grab the ones that are always there for every listing. All right, so we're almost there, right? If you look at a normal um, a normal Amazon search result page, you do not see this bottom section below the prime, uh, this gray box. This is new. This is different. It, it shows you, and this is DS Amazon Quick View, looking one page deeper, going into each of these listings, finding out what the BSR is, what category it's in, the ASIN, which is the unique identifier for each shirt, and who's selling it. Okay, if you see sold by Amazon, good chance it's a merch shirt. All right, so uh, what, what do we know from this information? We know uh, BSR, and that's primarily what we're looking at. We know from our search results how many how many search results there were. There's over 30,000. A plain generic Thanksgiving shirt, not a good niche. <laughs> we don't want to create t-shirts for that. We want to we want to dive down deeper. We want to create um, more specific targeted designs for specific people. Okay, not generic t-shirts for Thanksgiving. We're seeing there are 30,000 results. We're never going to be found. Our t-shirt, no matter how good it is, is probably never going to see the light of day if we build, uh, if we put them into this category. So I'm going to remove t-shirt here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, some sort of like, some sort of keywords to narrow this down. Um, and I'm going to add police officer. So police officers and Thanksgiving. So we're going to get a lot of uh, things that don't quite apply, right? And that's normal. We're fine with that. This is like a kid's costume. It's a t-shirt. Somebody designed this t-shirt, sold by Amazon, probably a merch design, that is just a police uniform in one t-shirt. It's a brilliant design, right? They're selling it for $15.99. They're probably BSR of $83,000. they are probably selling 25, 30 of these a day. Maybe more, right? This is a great design. Uh, I wish I'd thought of it. Uh, as we scroll down, you know, I'm looking through here. A lot of people have complained to me. They're like, I'm doing my niche research and I'm seeing a lot of brands. I'm seeing a lot of Disney. I'm seeing a lot of Star Wars. I'm, I can't compete with these. You're right. You can't. You cannot compete with these designs. You cannot use the copyrighted material and people are always going to buy that stuff. But if you're looking for something, you know, that is related to like um oil painter and you know i don't even know like like we only got 154 results for police officer thanksgiving shirts that's probably wide open that's a great niche somebody should make a whole bunch of police officer uh thanksgiving shirts 154 is nothing when it comes to merch by amazon uh, but if we were looking for like oil painter who loves coffee Again, it's probably going to be very few, right? We got a hundred results, and most of them are not specific to what we were searching for. Another niche that is untapped, right? Might not be a good one. This one might not be a good one, but I'm just showing you that, like, as you narrow down with your searches, you will find categories where there are not just like a million results. Thirty thousand, too many. Hundred? You could you could put ten designs in this category. You could own it. Nobody has ever made an oil painter who loves coffee t-shirt on Merch by Amazon. You could be the first. So go for it. All right. So back into the DS Amazon Quick View box in the bottom below our t-shirts. You see that in this category sold by Amazon, we have, and this is just a blank shirt. So not a good example. Um, this one is not our mock-up. So not a good example. This one's our mock-up, but it's branded, branded. Let's keep going. I might've picked a bad category. This one not sold by Amazon, different mock-up, definitely not ours. Uh, here's a merch shirt. 
uh, ASPCA, also now, also, here's one. I love the smell of diesel in the morning, all right? So without having to click on this design to get into the actual listing, I can use my mouse over, will pop up more details on the screen. I can see what categories it ranks in. I can see the ASIN, when it was first uploaded. I can see, um, you know, customer reviews, how good the customer reviews are. This is stuff that would take you forever to like, click in every design and see, oh, how many, you know, what, what are the people, what are people complaining about? What are the, you know, what are the, you know, what are the things that the one star reviews show? Like we can, we can jump right into all these things. And it's way faster than doing normal niche research where you have to click in, you have to read their titles and descriptions and, and whatnot. We can see 148,000. This shirt sells like crazy. It's 19.99. It's full priced. I don't know what other diesel mechanic um, t-shirts are out there. I know I, years ago I did a few in that category and I'm, I actually sold one this week, which is why I probably thought of it. But, um, you know, I don't know how competitive it is now. Probably plain old diesel mechanic t-shirts way too competitive now, if I had to guess. Um, but this is a well-designed shirt. It's it's attractive, right? It has a cool graphic on it, and you know they they've done a good job. But DS Amazon Quick View is showing us this 148,000. This is a very good selling shirt. Now, if I was doing my niche research, I would get my snipping tool, and I would just grab a snip of this, and I would save it somewhere. I would save it in a. Uh, I used to use. Um, I used to use. Google Sheets, you can copy and paste a picture right into Google Sheets, and I would just make a list. I would just have 30 pictures, 50 pictures in there, and I would just look at those pictures when I was doing my designs um, to give me ideas. Um, or you could save these into directly into your um, artboard when you're looking at your um, artboard in, either, in whatever design program you use. I used to use um, Illustrator, but I've switched, and I'm not using Illustrator anymore. But you could paste these all around your artboard on the open space, and then have your artboard free so that you could see them while you're working, but you're not, you know, they're not on your artboard where you're actually doing your work. Okay, so that's just an aside. Sorry about that. Um, if, if you don't know about how to like do this niche research, this isn't, that's not really what I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about DS Amazon Quick View. Um, if, if, as we go down, like pages and pages, right? These are all good selling shirts. These are all really good BSRs, good selling shirts. But if we get further on, like say we're like, the last page and I'm on a pretty popular um, a pretty popular it looks like search or there weren't very many results so it's just giving me popular results so let's look at something that we think there's t-shirts in but is not gonna be as popular or is gonna have a lot of um, a lot of designs in it so let's go back to diesel mechanic actually because I think there's gonna be just a ton of results Uh, what is this so has a BSR has a BSR has a BSR now as you're doing your research you know you're gonna come you hopefully you come across some niches where there's just not as many designs so I'm gonna go next and again this is maybe not a good example because there's probably just millions and millions of shirts and I bet you in the years that Merch by Amazon has been around a lot of them have sold at least once uh, what else can you tell by looking at this? Um, you can tell that the uh, Merch by Amazon algorithm and the search algorithm on Amazon is not just showing you the most popular shirt. Yeah, the most popular shirt has a high chance to land in the top of this search results page, but it is not going to be the first one, or it may be the first one, but then all the rest of them are going to be mixed up. It's going to be it's going to be mixed based on what Amazon thinks based on your prior history, you're most likely to buy because of the colors, because of the words that are in the descriptions. Um, and it's it, that's a good thing for us as Amazon sellers because that means that a brand new design has a chance to sell even if um, even if the niche is a little bit saturated. Now let's just try try and keep going. I got a question about what I can't get any BSRs to show. Now I don't I obviously don't have that problem. Like the BSRs are showing on all of these so I I'm not having that issue if, if this is different for the for the person who asked the question if this is different from what you were seeing let me know reach out in the comments because I will um, I will get with you and try and help you out um, but you know everything I've seen so far has a BSR like absolutely everything I have seen has a BSR uh, a lot of diesel smoke ah here's one rank not found 
What does rank not found mean? If you see this, this is probably the most god awful ugly shirt I've ever seen in my life, right? This shirt has never sold on Amazon. As soon as this shirt makes one sale, it'll have a BSR. It'll be ranked somewhere on Google, um, on, or I'm sorry, on Amazon. Until it's sold, it will not have a BSR. And this is true of all your designs too. Your designs will have no BSR until they sell. So that's that's what you see if it's a brand new design or if you're in a niche that's um, not selling a lot or if someone has just been posting a lot of new designs or it's popular among designers and they're posting a lot of new designs, you'll see this rank not found. That's normal, you should see that, okay? And if you see that a lot, it could mean either the designs in the category are bad or it could mean that it is ripe for, um, for more designs to be added. Or it could just be unpopular, it could just be something that nobody's buying shirts about. So it could be something to just ignore. You won't know that except by comparing to the other shirts in the same category about the same topic. So this one is under a million. It's a good seller for somebody, full price, lots of reviews. So the niche is good. That shirt just was bad. And it had nothing to do with diesel mechanics either, but it was just, just using it as an example. So that should pretty much tell you everything you need to know about DS Amazon Quick View for doing niche research you know you keep a list of um, I keep a spreadsheet open you can copy pictures into the spreadsheet you can also copy um, you know keywords into the spreadsheet if you're finding good keywords or if you actually do want to jump into some of these and you want to see um, you know what their actual bullet points and their titles and descriptions were you can I um, mean you can grab a lot of that from right here that's a title that's a description or I'm sorry that's the brand in the title and then you can't see the description or the bullet points. So if you want to see that, you actually do have to still jump in. But it will tell you if things are popular. And that's what you need to know a lot of the time. It's just, is it popular? Is it oversaturated? Are things selling? That's it. That's it. And then you can create designs, you know. Um, again, I just I have to say it. You're not looking to copy these designs. You're looking to be inspired by the keywords and then Take that and do what you will with it on your own to create something original. Um, that is not the goal. Is not to copy the designs you see. The goal is to find out what's selling, find out what keywords, what type of customers are buying things, and then make products for those customers. Not make these shirts. These shirts already exist. This is not the purpose. The purpose is not to copy these. The purpose is to find out what's selling and make more designs for those customers. All right, guys, this is it for Doug. This is MerchMetrics.com, and I will see you in the next video.